<clears throat> All right, so I've never done anything like this before. I'm um, pretty much brand new to ham radio. Um, I got a notebook, so if I need to write anything down, I will. Um, got my phone here, got my ham radio here. I programmed uh, their local repeater. There's a couple different ones, but uh, this one I programmed in has something called auto patch. Um, and it's where you can use the radio um, to patch into uh, phone lines. So you can actually make a phone call with the radio, essentially, as long as you have access to the, the repeater. Um, uh, you can make a phone call. So anyway, I'm going to test uh, this this auto patch feature, um, which uh, I'm brand new at ham radio. So let's hope I don't make anybody angry. <laughs> uh, so respectfully, um, the uh, one thing to do is to um, get on the frequency and uh, I mean, right now you can see that it says, uh, uh, what is it? EMG. It's supposed to be EBG. Anyway, Ellensburg. No, no, here we go. There it is. EBG. Um, uh, this is the, um, one of the repeaters up on the hill, um, here in town. Um, and so I have it programmed in. Um, that's the frequency. And there's an offset frequency and a tone, um, that, that transmits with the, fr uh, with my transmission. So that way there, it opens the repeater. And so the, the repeater will repeat my signal. Anyway, so technically speaking, if anybody else tunes into this frequency, they can hear my phone call I'm about to make. Um, but uh, that's, you know, what you sacrifice with ham radio. Um, everybody can hear you. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, yeah, what I was, what I was trying to say was um, it's a, a courtesy to go ahead and let people know, hey, I'm about to do this, or hey, is the repeater in use, um, or... So what I did is I actually got on the repeater uh, a while ago, and I've been sitting here. I, I apparently wasn't on their frequency just now, um, but you know me sitting here talking, going ahead and wasting some time anyway. Um, and uh, I haven't heard anybody talking, so that's a that's a plus. Uh, but it's a it's um, a courtesy to get on the get on here and, and ask, hey, is it is the repeater in use? Um, and let let them know I'm about to. Um, use the auto patch feature and, and test some things. And, and if somebody's using the repeater and they're just not talking, they're in the middle of something, they'll, they'll let you know. They'll say, hey, uh, uh, please don't do that yet. Um, but I'll try to make this test as quick as possible so don't bother anybody. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm nervous because I've never used this feature before, but I know I'm allowed to do it. I have the quote-unquote licensing to do so now. Um, so let's hope I don't get in trouble. Here goes nothing. <clears throat> This is KJ7OWX. I'm wondering if this repeater is in use. I am pretty new to ham radio, and I was wondering if I can test the auto patch feature to call myself uh, just to test it. So if anybody else is listening, please call back and let me know if uh, you're opposed to this test. This is KJ7OWX. That sound is to... That doo that tells you that I got into the repeater. The repeater repeated my signal. Um... So I'm just going to wait a second, see if anybody gets back. Yeah, nothing so far. So I'm going to make that same call one more time, letting them know what I'm doing, um, just in case if somebody didn't hear me or they started to hear me, didn't finish what I was saying or whatever it is, but I'll try one more time. This is KJ7OWX. I am uh, wanting to test the auto patch feature because I am new to ham radio and just kind of tinkering with things and testing equipment. So um, this is my last call before I open the patch. Uh, if there's anybody using this repeater or, or opposed to me using this test um, or doing this test, please uh, call out. This is KJ7OWX. KI7DZK, this is KJ7OWX. Uh, should I go ahead and not do this test, or? Oh no, I, uh, go, go ahead. I actually had a quick question, if you don't mind. Um, I've never done it myself. I'm a relatively new ham as well. Uh, 2016 was when I got first license, and I have never done the auto patch. So I was just curious. Um, my understanding is you need some code or special code to uh, activate the auto patch, is that correct? Uh, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, um, there, well, there's the Repeater Association website. I, I, I found the instructions on how to use it. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's uh, the all you have to do is press uh, the star key and then dial a local number, 
and then um, you it, it just let off the PTT, and then it'll it'll go ahead and send a signal back to letting you know that it's dialing. I've I just got my license probably uh, a week and a half ago, so I'm just really tinkering here. I have no idea what it, I mean. Uh, but yeah, so we're I guess we're in this together. If you're listening. <laughs> Uh, David, my name is Mark. Uh, you said KJ7DZX? Uh, negative. It's Kilo India 7, Delta Zulu Kilo, KI7DZK. Gotcha, okay, KI7DZK. Uh, this is KJ7OWX, uh, Kilo Juliet 7, Oscar Whiskey X-Ray. Um, so yeah, I, if you wouldn't mind, I'll go ahead and, uh, try it out. I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, no, I uh, I definitely don't know too crazy much. So the uh, extra, the congratulations though. That's uh, I hear that's pretty difficult, and I definitely want to try and strive that direction someday. But uh, right now I'm just kind of tinkering. So I got actually I got into this uh, because I fly drones and I got a commercial license to fly drones, and uh, I needed a ham license in order to transmit on certain frequencies for um, for video. Uh, so, yeah, and then I just kind of stumbled into ham radio and I realized how amazing it really is. Uh, but yeah, no, I greatly appreciate it and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let a key off, uh, or, or uh, let off the key and then, uh, um, try, try the test. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. Well, yeah, I'll let you go. KJ7OWX, KI7DCK, let the test commence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, let's see, where's my star key? This is KJ seven OWX. I would consider that a failure. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, I believe that uh, it's due. I think they took it out just because no one was using it, and who knows, you know, how often that website was updated. Um, KI seven DCK. I'll do a quick break here. What I got into was um, APRS. APRS. Um, if you go to their website, APRS.FI, um, if you have a uh, radio with a TNC uh, modem, you can send out uh, data packets to track you, and you can also send um, basic text messages and oh. uh, basic email. And what I mean by that is um, only text, no like graphics or anything like that. But it's really nice because they have a service where you can send out. Um, text uh, um, characters into a text message so if I'm out of cell reception uh, that's why I got into it so kind of the same idea it'd be nice to get one of these repeaters up with uh, a landline again oh yeah totally um, uh, yeah, actually I've kind of tinkered around looking at it but I didn't really understand too much uh, of what was going on because I was kind of uh, skimming through and get I was busy but um, so is APRS is that uh, is that also analog or is that digital because I've been I've been looking into DMR too and because I realized that uh, there's huge uh, shift towards uh, digital radio but and it's it's pretty cool but honestly I, I like analog I don't know what it is but analogs just uh, uh, I don't know um, it's gratifying I, I suppose I don't know how to really put that but anyway Yeah, I'm a really big 
big fan into analog too. Um, my step grandpa, he's passed away now, but he was really big into Morse code and just you know the rich heritage uh, history of how it's always been you know Morse code, CW or analog uh, phone as they put it, voice talking. But I love it just because of HF, the traditional um, radios. Uh, uh, HF being high frequency, uh, you know, zero to 30 megahertz. Um, uh, it's really sweet because it's always like a treasure hunt. Um, I've talked in, to people in um, uh, the North Pole Expedition Group and uh, St. Louis, Missouri at the World War I um, Museum. They took out the old school radios all from my backyard. So ham radio is a lot of fun just because you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Yeah, no, I... Uh... That's pretty interesting. HF also, uh, there's not too many privileges for technician, right? Am I am I correct? Yep, that's right. There's talk um, that uh, the FCC and the ARL they might want to expand a little bit just to get more people figuring, you know, if they get their feet wet um, per se, then they might get you know hooked and want to do it. On 10 meters, there's a small segment um, from 28,300, 28.300, I should have said, to 28.500. And that um, is still kind of considered uh, HF, uh, but 10 meters, you know, it's, it's pretty close uh, in the valley uh, regional area. And um, you can get on there and play around with it. But yeah, you really need to get your general in. Getting the generals not that hard. The extras that's hard. That's you have. I put in hours and hours and hours. My dad's an electrical engineer. I'm gonna break. And uh, you know, I I've pretty much grown up knowing the electrical principles and all that stuff. And extra, you have to put in the hours. But general. Um, do some studying uh, about a month or two, and you can take online, you know, practice tests, and uh, you should have no problem getting the general. And then that opens up. You can work on pretty much every band. You do have not full-blown um, uh, privileges of all the frequencies, but you get to get on, like, every band uh, that the extras get on. And um, 40, 20, 80 meters, that's where all the magic happens. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be opposed to trying that out. Um, uh, it's it's been kind of intriguing, you know, the fact that you can, you know, certain days with uh, just the right conditions, you can get propagation going far enough, you know, to where you can, you know, talk hundreds of miles, you know, even further. But um, so yeah, no, I re I really appreciate uh, the talking real quick and getting getting back to me um, and uh, letting me do that test. Uh, oh, uh, one more thing I wanted to uh, ask about was uh, um, I. I'm also currently filming, making a YouTube video, and I can. Uh, I was wondering if I'd get your permission to use this. Um, but also, uh, and if you'd like, I can bleep out your call sign and things like that if you want. But uh, or I can just, you know, not do it at all. So yeah, uh, just wondering. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, go right ahead, Mark. That's funny. Uh, sounds like we got some common uh, items, activities in common. I really want to get into uh, YouTube. And, uh, you know, I watch YouTube all the time, and uh, that's where I learn the majority of my ham radio stuff. So I just think it's an awesome tool and uh, very fun uh, to do. And uh, so, yeah, sometime it would be fun to, you know, pick your brain. Uh, I'm just curious what kind of, you know, camera gear you have and <clears throat> what you do for editing. So, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, uh, D David, you said, right? Am I, am I right? Awesome. No, I, yeah, I appreciate it. I got the call sign. I got your name. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I do drone stuff, um, mainly, uh, filming with it, but, I'll, but also, um, I want to, I was kind of looking into doing some search and rescue and, um, just, uh, in maybe industrial inspection or something like that. But, uh, um, yeah, uh, as for 
what I love to do, what I'm really passionate about, uh, would be uh, FPV drones. Uh, it's like a first-person view, and it I have a GoPro and stick it on the top of it, and you know, zip around, and it's it's a lot of fun. They're they're very very maneuverable as opposed to most drones that you like say you say you buy on the market. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm more than o uh, more than open about uh, sharing any information, and uh, um, uh, I just started a, a YouTube channel um, for for this particular thing. I also play in a band, and a lot of our videos have gone through the band's YouTube. But um, yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you go. So KI7DZX, this is KJ7OWX. Thanks. Delta Zulu Kilo, I think you said KI7DZX on the last go around, but um, you yeah, know that's cool, Mark. I um, I'm just blown away that we gotta make uh, make some time and uh, meet up in person. I would love to. I've seen the you know the yeah first uh, focal point or first point of view, uh, and I'm uh, yeah I just got too many questions. So yep, fun times. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely wouldn't wouldn't be opposed, and uh, I, yeah, I, I uh, um, all the all the information that I've been stacking into my brain, being obsessed with this this sort of hobby, and which ties into ham radio, oddly enough. But uh, um, yeah, I I'm more than willing to share any information. So um, yeah, I I don't know anything about uh, any of the ham clubs around or any or any kind of uh, uh, social social things around it. All all I know is just playing with radios. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Um, I I've been talking a little bit on that that repeater. That's a uh, Sky Meadows, right? I uh, I um, talked a few, or I got kind of got on the the uh, co virtual coffee net in the morning. Um, I checked into uh, uh, one of the, I think it was Racy's or Aries. I'm not sure. Um, uh, and I mean, I <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just completely new to all this. But uh, uh, so the band is where a lot of the material is. Uh, the band YouTube. It's Robbers Roost Band. Um, I'm, I'm, you may be familiar with that because of the local area, but a lot of people around the country don't. I, we tour a lot too, and they have no idea what that is. But uh, Robber's Roost Band is the YouTube, um, and uh, where I'm currently starting to shift all the of the drone things over to is uh, uh, called Resistor FPV. Um, it's just kind of a, a name that came <laughs> through together. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I gotta. Sorry. I gotta uh, leave here in a hurry. Uh, the USPS just pulled up to my door, and I believe I need a sign for a package. So I'll be uh, away from the radio and see if I can come back. Uh, KJ seven OWX. This is KI seven DZK. Cool. Well, my test didn't work, but. 